Hey, hey guys, it's Nick. It's been a long time since I made a video, and this is kind of, well, this is another passion of mine. Is, is I'm So I'm an electrician, and I also come from a long line of junk men. So and he, uh, the bug got me, so I like old stuff too. I don't know why. Well, I have reasons. But anyway, this is a 50-watt high-pressure sodium fixture, and I... I don't know. I was tickled by it. I saw it on eBay. It was it was twenty bucks, so I had to have it. Uh, Guth, I think it's Guth. It might be Guth. It's probably Guth Lighting. I looked them up. They're a company that's been around for a long time, but I've never installed anything by them. So I don't know if they went out of business or if they are just a regional thing. So I know that there are some things in electric that are regional. What we do here in Ohio is not what they do on the West Coast or you know Chicago. Well, they've got their own electric code. This came from New Jersey. So I don't know. East Coast might have used Guth ship to. And anyway, so this is, it's old. And I already opened it up. So no surprises to me. But I'll bring you along. We'll open it up. And then I'm going to put it together. We're going to turn it on and, and watch it come together. So, so there it is. And you open it up. And that's what you got inside. So in there is the lamp. It's already attached. I'm assuming that's how it came. Like, I mean, you never know. It's old stock, new old stock. So who knows who had their hands in it? So <laughs> that's how you take the shade out. You're probably going to need a tripod for too much longer. There we go. So shade is an Alzac. Alzac? I've, I've definitely installed Alzac stuff before. Processed Reflector, Aluminum Company of America. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's got a seal still attached to it. I'll set this on the ground and then open the rest of it up. And there it is. Other things are just kind of hanging out in here. That was, that was probably the bag that it all came in. It's either long deteriorated or been opened. We've got two cute little wire nuts. It's like the same kind of wire nut. I don't know if these are high temp. They're high temp wire nuts. They're not ceramics, but these are the ones that come with ballast kits today. Oh, we'll look at the fun piece here in a second. There's a mounting bracket. There's, the, there, there's a nipple, so there you go. Lock nut, nipple, mounting bracket look at this here in a second here's another rubber seal I'm not sure where that goes we'll figure that out or we won't I don't know there you go goose lighting Scotty installation information so you're supposed to install it on an octagon box must be a flush mount thing well, we're not going to flush mount it today because we're in a garage and I don't plan on installing it yet. I'll put it somewhere eventually. Um, so there's a little bracket. That's what holds the shade on the body of the light. We'll look at that in a second. Damp or wet locations. Oh, that's where that... That's where that ring goes, is around the square piece. I see. Okay, well that tracks. And then what's this piece? Starting high pressure sodium lamps requires a high voltage pulse. The pulse is provided by an igniter. There should be an igniter in there. Under normal lamp starting, the igniter operates only for a few cycles of the lamp. Until the arc is established, the igniter is automatically turned off and the lamp is operating. This is cool information for you nerds out there like me. When the lamp fails, the igniter will continue to pulse until a few until a new lamp is installed with the power to the luminary is turned off. The ballast and igniter are designed to give long life under normal operating conditions. Operating a high pressure sodium ballast without a lamp or with a failed lamp is not considered a normal operating condition. In fact, operating the ballast without a lamp or with a failed lamp over extended periods of time will reduce the life of the ballast igniter system. I'm going to tell that to customers who don't want to buy new lamps. To avoid a significant decrease in life HPS ballast igniter system, we recommend that failed lamps be replaced as soon as possible. A reasonable period of time for the ballast to operate before a new lamp is installed will be approximately 75 hours. 
Well, that's really good information. I didn't have that. I don't know if that's goose ballast specific. Probably not. All right, so here's the doodad. Lamp's already installed. It looks like it might already have had some life taken from it. Maybe not. So I'll be honest, in my time as an electrician, I've done a lot of HID lighting, but not very much high pressure sodium. Only here and there because it's, it's been phased out now. So you'll notice that there's only two wires. There's no ground. So that dates this thing right there. LU50, so LU, that's another another way of writing high pressure sodium, and then 50 watt medium medium base, MED is medium base, HPS lamp. So LU 50 watt medium base high pressure sodium lamp. And then that that might be a capacitor or the igniter. Screws on the side. I've already had this apart, so I'm not gonna lie to you. This screw takes the thing apart. So we'll undo that. And, and because I only have this one lamp, we're gonna unscrew that so I don't break it. I can get more, I just don't have any on me. So, and then this, I'll just, yep, there we go. So there's the guts. Oh, that is not, that's just the other side of the ballast. Ballast looks, Fairly clean, ah, Advance. So Advance was eventually bought by Philips. Try to see the wiring diagram. It's not very easy to see. It looks like it's only a 120 volt coil. So it's not a multi-tap ballast. There is Oh, hmm. No capacitor. So there's the starter that they were talking about. It's also a starter. It's got three leads. That's odd to me that there's no cap. There's the nameplate. LU50 medium base, 120 volt, 60 hertz. Minimum start, negative 20 Fahrenheit, 1.18 amps. Oh, that's actually more efficient than I was expecting it to be. It's only 50 watt, but still. Use 90 degree connections, suitable for wet location, for ceiling or wall mount. Well, oh, there is a ground wire. It's just inside. Huh, okay. Um, well, I'm going to put the camera down, put this together, and then we're going to turn it on and see what happens. All right, there it is. I didn't hang it because I was a little bit premature putting it all back together, but it should fire. It's, they don't really care what direction the bulbs and you see these things facing sideways all the time. So <sighs> I'm not going to show you my scabby wire connection, but it's safe enough for now. And so I she's plugged in over here and we're going to flip the switch and watch it come on for the first time. Ready? Here we go. quiet. I can hear a little bit of ballast hum, but not much. It's starting to get yellow. There we go. I'm a little nostalgic for high pressure sodium, not because I spent a lot of time working on it, like I said, but because it's a dying thing. And it's my joke, it's kind of a lame one, but it's it's true. One day, the very last electrician is going to bypass the ballast on the very last high pressure sodium lamp and there will not be any more. And no one will know what happened. It's just one day, there it goes, and that's the end of them. There we go. It's definitely very yellow. See the heat. There you go. So what I'm seeing in the camera viewfinder, which is the screen of my phone, 
makes this look really pretty and I hope it shows up in the finished product. There you go, it's coming back up, coming on. I don't know how long it takes a high pressure sodium to come up to full brightness. I know the sodium takes a while to heat up. It's also a lot more yellow in the camera lens than it is to my eye. I'm not trying to stare at it. Lights dancing around inside the envelope. That would be the glass part of the light bulb. And it works. There's the Guth Scotty. There's my Scotty light. I appreciate y'all watching this. I hope you found it interesting. I find this kind of stuff absolutely fascinating. But then again, I'm a I'm an electrician and I'm a geek. So I guess I come by it fair and square. It's warm. I'm not gonna put my hand on it when I'm not down. I mean, I am. But... So I don't know what's up with those lines. There you go. Camera refresh. If there's still something going on inside the lamp, I don't know. I can't see it to look at it with my eyes. All right. We'll see you guys in the next one.